Working as a young winemaker for an historic estate in Sonoma, California, Jordan Fiorentini was living her dream, a beautiful family in an incredible setting. But a meeting with geologist Bill Armstrong on the porch of a double wide in West Paso Robles would change her life forever. Together, they would resurrect an important part of Paso Robles and create a new chapter in its winemaking history. Join us as we go beyond the crush. This particular job, I worked at Chalk Hill in Sonoma County. And then I heard about this job. I wasn't really looking for a job. She had no interest whatsoever in coming to Paso Robles. Everybody that she had talked to said, oh, that's a bunch of yahoos, a bunch of hillbillies down there. I just don't want to waste anyone's time. I'm not going to move to Paso Robles. But you know, if there's a slight inkling of interest. So next thing I knew, I uh, was talking to Bill Armstrong on the back porch of his small little double wide. Before I knew it, I said, I think I just took that job. She had to uproot her family, then her husband, her kid, come down here. I think she's fallen in love with Pastor Robles. It just seemed like a really holistic and fun place to be, and then a great place to move my family, and then all these possibilities. If I come here, I can oversee the vineyards, incredible soil, this incredible climate, and make these amazing wines and have fun, you know? This is what it's all about, right? We're sitting in an old barn. This is the historic Paderewski property. He was a pianist and a performer in his days, which were the early 1920s. He was the Elvis, the superstar entertainer. He ended up buying this property because he fell in love with Paso. Behind us are the boxes that they would use when they picked the grapes to bring them to wherever they were being processed. He decided to look into having his wine made by the York Brothers, first bonded winery in San Luis Obispo County. It's hard to find anybody like over the age of 40 that hasn't had wine in the tasting room at York Mountain, kind of a local iconic place. So it's really fun to kind of meld the Paderewski history with the York Mountain history. After Paderewski, the land was just kind of left alone through a few generations of owners sitting here waiting to be rediscovered, I guess. When we found this place, it was really in bad shape and just basically start from scratch. There's this funny story about how the local high schoolers would drive and hide out in one of our canyons and have fun. They called it uh, Conception Canyon. Leave it at that. <laughs> I didn't know this when I bought the place, but I think it's cool. So when I talk to the locals, they'll say, I met my first girlfriend parking on the old Federescue place. I think it brings kind of a good juju to the place, actually. I was looking for the place to grow these Rhone varietals. In this area, with these limestone soils, it's gorgeous. It's laterally fractured, vertically fractured. You can see roots of trees that were like up on top of the hill, and then 40 feet down, you can see the root of that tree coming out. Because being a geologist, if you're going to make a great wine, that's what you're looking for. So Jordan, I think, solved my passion. How excited I was about the actual soils here themselves, and things he kind of caught on. Started to fall in love with the wines of West Paso Robles. They really reflected this place that they were grown. It's what we all seek as winemakers, but it's really, really difficult to find those special places. When I talk to winemakers up north, I, they're kind of like, well, how do you like it? And I'm just like, oh my god, I love it. You know, Jordan is such a talented winemaker, and uh, she has such a great palate. I want to make wines that move me, because we want to for prestige, but because we're doing what's right by the land. She brings a, an element of feminism and a little bit more of a velvet hand, I would say, to the wine. It does bring that kind of maternal aspect to it. I'm trying to do the best job I can to really highlight the Central Coast and our site and the vintage that the wines are made in. When Jordan talks about wine, she sees art. And so she sees shapes. And to ask her sometimes, she'll show you drawings of like, roundness and, you know, angularity and minerality, and but she has it in a picture. You have to create those memories. If it isn't memorable, then they might not buy your wine again, and they might not like your art. I love living here. It's beautiful. 
It's hard, you know, I'm a mom and I'm a winemaker and um, running around like crazy all the time, but I don't think anyone would want it any other way.